There you go. I think you can hear me now. See, that's why we got to do all this audio. There this audio go. check. There you go. Very good. Very good. Very good. And I am using my microphone. However, I think I'm going to have to change that out a little bit. So we'll do that next time. So if it's a little airy this time, then we'll just deal with it. And, and as I come back uh, on Monday, we should have a microphone adjusted really well. So thank you so very much for being here. Like I was talking about with um, Nancy Pelosi. There has been a lot of controversy in regards to our Speaker of the House. Anyways, now you might be wondering, why are you doing a reading on that? Well, I'm doing a reading on it because, because I can. And that's what the cards are about. Like, we, we limit the cards to only be for our love life. Uh, we limit the cards to only be for what else? Um, for our job, for our health. Um, you know, if somebody is a twin flame or whatever. But we don't look at the cards for our everyday life, and yet that's what they are. They are a, um, a, a visual aspect, a spiritual, so physical, mental, and spiritual. Like they cover all three levels, and they're not to be limited just to um, uh, what we're going through in our micro, um, microspective experience it's really macro uh, uh, perspective and when we look at it that way when we see how all of this stuff is playing out then we can release the feeling of anxiety because a lot of people get anxious when they're looking at the news like that they get anxious they they feel some sort of um uh, like impending doom uh, you know there are times that We've had to share with, let's say, the elders in, in my family, uh, not to stay hooked on the news because the news is not breaking news. It's only breaking because they're breaking into your your subconscious. They're breaking into your peace, right? So you got to see it for what it is instead of breaking news. Oh, my God. Well, <laughs> We had a breaking news with Nancy Pelosi, and I was sitting here looking at the cards, and I'm thinking, what in the world? Why are you there? And we already know that it's a problem, right? So I I did what I'm supposed to do. I asked the cards, what's going on with Nancy Pelosi? What, 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 what's really going on here? And do we really need to be concerned about what she did? So... I pulled my cards, and let me see if I left them on the top here. And, the, and so that you know, I'm using the Hulu Tarot. And the reason why I use the Hulu Tarot is because the images are real life, taken from a, a time frame and an era of real life people living their real life experience. Um, all Tarot is uh, created based on the illustrations and, let's say, the ideology of Arthur Waite and Pamela Coleman Smith. However, the Hoodoo Tarot literally puts you in a real time with individuals that lived in a particular uh, time frame that, you know, we could identify with. So let me see if I pull. Oh, yes, I did. I love those two cards. So the first card that I pulled, that I pulled here is Five of Knives. Now, it's really interesting. I'm going to show you this card. And this card is really interesting right here. I don't know if you can see that, but it has a woman. She's got five knives right there. And in her mouth, she has a coin. And, and then she's got her tongue sticking out. Do you know this card is literally about lying? This card has to do about lying. Now, she got that coin in her mouth. So, the, the here in... In a particular time frame, and I think I should read it. Let me see. Let me see. Because it's really interesting how this five of knives, fives of swords, ends up showing up uh, when it comes to Nancy Pelosi. Because, um, like I said, it has to do with lying. <laughs> 
So the image, a woman shows off a silver coin hidden beneath her tongue. This is called putting a bit in your mouth. It was believed by some root workers that if you had no choice but to lie in court, you would be freed of responsibility for lying after swearing on the Bible. Ooh. So uh, here, this is being prepared for a battle, confronting evil, um, conflict, vindication, overcoming challenges. But I find the confronting evil to be of interest because Nancy Pelosi went to Taiwan. She went to Taiwan and there are a clear, this is a clear conflict with the Chinese government. It's a, it's a direct conflict. Even though the U.S. is through her mouth, now notice through her mouth, is stating that they are 100% backing Taiwan. Look at this daggone card. And that was through her mouth, right? So somebody's lying. And the second card I pulled, and I'm going to tell you, I only pulled two cards. Uh, usually I do three or four. But when I pulled the next card, I had to stop. And that card right here is the tower. We call this one in Hoodoo the big house, right? That's not, that's not a good sign. The big house. I'm telling you that's not a good sign. Because anytime we see the tower show up on any deck, in any deck of cards, we got to be worried. So when I looked at this card, and then the tower shows up, and to me the tower represents like, a, like the U.S. government, right? But yet... The first card that I pull on on this situation makes it as if you know somebody is lying, and whatever whatever the lie is, it's going to affect somebody's house, right? So I I, I start looking at people like they're Judas Iscariot. You know, they go there and they kiss you on your cheek and say, "Oh, we really love you. We'll protect you." But walk away, you know, and isn't that what Judas Iscariot did for anybody that um, has read the Bible or knows any story of the Bible? Judas walked upon, walked up on Jesus and gave him a kiss and he did it for 30, 30 pieces of silver. He gave him a kiss and walked away and the house came down. Right? So... When when I look at that, I'm not pulling any more cards on her because I'm going to tell you it, it's going it's it's getting ugly when you have this this um, tower. Let me see what it says in here how it reads on this big house, especially when we're dealing with the Hoodoo Tarot. Ooh, that's a rough card right there. I'm telling everybody that it's. <laughs> It's just like, oh, heck no. I'm done. I'm already done when I've seen that. Five of knives. Okay. The big house, the tower. But the camorant and the bittern shall possess it. The owl also and the raven shall dwell in it. And he shall stretch out upon it a line of confusion. Shut up. Look at that. And the stones of emptiness. That's Isaiah 34 11. That's what this card is about. And the, and the plant is oak. The image, a woman looking at a plantation home with a rose-colored lens, is unable to see the suffering of the people plummeting from the window. It's like they don't even exist. There is no greater symbol of Southern gentility than a majestic plantation home surrounded by lush Victorian gardens. Every year, millions of people from all around the world flock to the South for plantation tours as their guides prattle on about lemonade, quaint customs, and corseted balls during what many call a simpler time. What they don't tell you is that most of those villages and fields were already there, thriving prior to the arrival of foreigners. In other words, indigenous people were literally forced to work on their own land. 
So why... So while this simpler time was certainly the reality for hundreds of prosperous slave owners, it was not for thousands of enslaved people and indentured servants. For them, the big house was far from beautiful and was instead an unpredictable house of horrors. That is the card that got pulled on Nancy Pelosi. Huh. Who's the big house? So when this card shows up, it may be trying to prepare you for sudden change and the subsequent trauma that will come from it. Well, daggone, I don't even need to read anymore because after that lady, the Speaker of the House, left, she left uh, the country, the President of China started firing warheads. Do you see th these cards literally... She hadn't even left yet when I pulled these cards and I and I seen that she was sitting in the country. That she went to go visit Taiwan. Even after she was told not to. And she said she wasn't, but she did anyways. Look at that. That was the lion card. But it's not just lion right there. She's lying all over the place. There's something going on right there. And as soon as she left, I pulled this card. She hadn't even left the country yet. I pulled this card and I said, oh my God. And sure enough, as soon as she does leave, escaping the big house, escaping uh, 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 whatever she's she's brought in, then, Ch then Chinese, the China government starts firing on her, firing on this this country, Taiwan. With missiles, for real. Like warning shots. Who does that? Who instigates that? Who instigated it? Mm, 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 mm. I'm telling you. There's something about that. Let me go ahead and welcome everybody that's in here. I don't know if, you, if you're new to my channel. To... The Tarot. Hold on. Academy. If you are new to my channel, I'm going to say welcome. And this is a new format, and it's really based on what I see that's going on. Because a lot of times when we're giving readings out there to people, right, it's so subjective. You know, it's that subject, that person. And there's nothing that can validate or say, oh, that's for real, that really happened. Unless the person comes back and says, yeah, that really happened or that was right on. But when we're doing, when we're looking at what's happening in our life, period, is that also not um, deserving to be evaluated, to be measured up, to see if there's validity in it? Because it's affecting our daily life. It's affecting us. We are making life decisions based on the things that these people are showing us in the news media. We have issues with our food. We have issues with travel. We have issues with the interest rates going up. People are losing um, either their jobs or their job uh, labor is being reduced so that it's more difficult for them to um, provide for their family or for their own life. We have people that are dealing with mental illness because of this twisted Mm, um, uh, twisted reality. We have people um, uh, acting out violently. So the things that are happening outward are affecting us personally. So why is it that we are only going to concern ourselves with is he my or she my twin flame? Am I going to have this? Is this, is he the father? Is she the mother? Am I going to get rich? You know, these are, these are really shallow concerns when we think about what's really happening out there that's affecting us. And we, we plug into the news sources, let's say like, um, read it or Reddit, um, Twitter, 
I, I'm not even going to count Facebook because I think that's that's just a joke. But um, YouTube, Venmo, um, BitChute, when we plug into those news medias and we're looking at what's happening in our life, and we're we're basing the things that that we're doing on what is being said. People aren't traveling anymore the way that they want to. They're not using their resources and their money um, for um, uh, extracurricular activity or or let's just say an overabundance in entertainment because they're not sure. Most of us aren't sure how we're going to be able to continue to do all these different things with with what we have left. And it's we're affected by the the people that appear to be running the country. And then we don't have anybody speak on that. Why is it we don't have anybody speak on it? Is, is it that um, um, card readers are only concerned with uh, the mundane, uh, whether your love life is right or your health is right or... Or uh, if you're going to get a job or you uh, have an issue with your car. But what about the bigger issues? Can we put the test of, of what is being said out there on, on the cards to see if it's for real? Especially if, you, if you're reading cards. Your cards have to be beyond the personal shallow stuff. And I'm going to call it that because the things that we're seeing in the news is affecting people's lives on a real level. So then we wonder, okay, so uh, do we get into a place where we change the way we think and how we're speaking? Yes, absolutely. We become positive. We, uh, we may speak our affirmations. But that in no way means that you ignore what might or is happening in your real community. And then as you acknowledge what's happening in your real community, then you can make some shifts. You can change your thoughts. You can act better towards your community. But you got to know what's going on. You don't even know if it, if. The stuff out there is being uh, being spoken as truth. I know there's a there's a movie, and I always tell people please watch the movie. But it's called Wag the Dog, and literally it was a war that had been um, propagated on the internet, and everybody that was watching the internet really believed that the war was happening, but it wasn't happening. But it really was to divert the attention so that this, the, the president at that time could now run for office and then come in under the rug and take the office again. So we have all this stuff that's happening, right? Like January 6th, that affected the world. And we have other stuff. So anyways, as the things come up, then I'm going to read about it. You know, if you have questions about your own personal um, uh, livelihood or your own personal uh, experience, whether something is true or not, or and you need assistance, you can definitely come onto my site, get an appointment with me. But whenever I show up here and I'm live, I'm going to literally put to the test how these cards are showing up with our real life experiences and how we can transform those because it's not about being sullied or um, being defeated, but there's got to be a way that we recognize what's happening and then take control, but we take control better. We make different decisions so that we're not manipulated or becoming someone's collateral damage. And the only way you can do that is by being present, knowing what's going on, being able to see for yourself, hmm, that might not be exactly what's going on. Maybe I'm not able to trust this person. We got a lot of stuff happening. We've got a presidential um 
candidates running again. We've, uh, we've got another couple of years, so they're gearing up right now. Well, what better way to look at the cards and say, hmm, do we trust these people? Do we trust this, this promise? Is this something that we can rely on? We can bank on? We can see the the truthfulness in this person's words. Why not put the cards right there so that we can see it? Hmm. Well, anyways, that's what I'm saying for today. I'm glad you joined me. Now, I'll be back Monday, and um, I don't know what I'm going to be uh, speaking about, but you might want to show up. <laughs> I might send out a little message on Sunday and say, oh my gosh, look what else is happening, okay? And um, I am, I, I love affirmations. They work. They help you manifest. Yes, they do. But I know one thing, um, when I see a certain thing, I, I can recognize it and I can say, oh, the cards are going to show me because the cards don't lie. Then I don't have to put any trust in that particular thing. And I can cre create my own, my own reality, my own vision, my own affirmation and plan so I can manifest exactly the the way that I want, I don't have to feel defeated as if, oh, I can't, I can't do this because all this stuff over here is going on. No, all that stuff over there is going on in a story that don't have nothing to do with you. So the quicker we get through that information, then you can step over here and continue to plan on living a better life and being, being, showing up for yourself. It's showing up for your your family and your community, which affects the society around you. you. We have to take charge. Instead of being manipulated by people, we have to take charge. And then hold the standard. The standard. Look at it. Look at whatever they're saying and say, does that, does that resonate? Is it truthful? Hmm. Because it's time to live. And we can't get hung up on other people's words. So if there's something that allows you to be able to see whether someone is telling the truth or not, and then you you develop your your um, your intuition, then you won't be manipulated through these, these through these crowds and these interests, these interest groups. You won't be manipulated. These think tanks. Just persuade people to move a certain way in fear. Like vaccinations and and uh, these illnesses. I'm not saying that those don't exist. What I'm saying is that we should, we should really evaluate what people are saying and if they're truthful or not. And then find a way to get the get the truth. And then and, and then hold the standard. Is that truthful? And then you can make better decisions so that you can live what I would consider a prosperous life. So anyways, that is what I wanted to share with you today. And I'm glad that you have tapped in and tuned in. Blessed be, I'll be back on Monday. And have a great weekend. Bye, Shay.